much all the time. This is what goes with me. Don't matter where I go. And if anything else, I add to this. Um, I also carry a metal water bottle. Uh, pretty much everywhere I go. Well, actually, no, everywhere I go. If I got a backpack on, I got a water bottle with me pretty much. And I wear a backpack everywhere. Anyway, uh, I also carry a neck knife. I'll show you. This don't include my sleep system. This is just, uh, if I was to go camp and I would throw a sleep system into this. And uh, meat, really, um, is about the only thing I need. And this is like for an overnighter. Uh, I could probably squeeze two days out of it if I take a little bit more meat. But anyway, you got a metal water bottle. First things first. Glass cutters for... Uh, you can you can do up a lot of firewood with these. And with them little tinderbox stoves, they uh, work pretty good. Or just making fire in general. Especially if your hands are cold. And a multi-tool. It's a Gerber. I usually carry an axe too if I'm going out in the woods. So that's that. I got a candling device. I had another one before, but I don't know what happened to it. Uh, this has got really three settings on. It's high, low, and off. So really, you only have to kick, click the buttons. I like ones that just turn off and on. But having that little bit lower sometimes, if it's bright, it's pretty good. Uh, I carry this as a neck knife. It's a more a carving knife, uh, the razor blade sharp, and if, I, I, if you're doing stuff around uh, camp, they're one of the best things going. That with the multi-tool, I got pretty much everything I need. This is my first aid kit. I've got pills and different uh, painkillers and stuff here, ibuprofen, uh, heartburn meds, anison, uh, there's different stuff in there. Some cold and flu meds, black tape. Uh, can use it for so many different things when the first aid uh i got pressure bandages in here there's probably fly dope hand sanitizer uh what else is here a piece of paracord or the bank line i mean uh there's a high pressure bandage for trauma bandage a heavy duty trauma bandage so if they get really a bad wound or a hole i can plug it up pretty good uh hand sanitizer fly dope uh toothbrush, a sling, uh, band-aids, um, oh, a mouthpiece for doing mouth to mouth so you don't have to touch somebody's mouth, another little multi-tool, and another bandage. Yeah, that's what's in that. Uh, next, uh, we have my food pouch. There's a bunch of condiments and different stuff in here and spices. Uh, you name it, it's in there. Uh, ketchup, mustard, soy sauce, all kinds of different foodstuffs. What else have we got here? Uh, macaroni, uh, rice. What else? Macaroni, rice. Break the bag. Yeah. What's this? Oh, juice mix. I got pressed macaroni and rice. And, uh, yeah, what else is in there? Let's see your stuff as well. Oh, dehydrated onions. Good stuff. All kinds of good stuff in there. Then, of course, you add meat to that. You're all set. So, a couple days worth of food. That'll last a long time in there. A jar of peanut butter. Uh, flour for making uh, urbanic and uh, margarine in there. Good stuff that comes in my, it's in my food pack. Of course, the margarine and the peanut butter have to be recycled, but the rest of the stuff will have to in there a long time. Good stuff. And third but not least, my cook kit. You got a couple of bowls, one cup bowls. Uh, this here is just a condiment pack of coffee and sugar and whitener and different stuff. So it, there's some instant coffee in there and some instant tea. And uh, I think there's some percolated coffee that I got from a hotel one time. Uh, I usually carry, uh, this is enough for 
two really strong coffees with all coffee and whitener in it. I got no whitener in there right now, so I uh, guess you're going to be black. Another roll of black tape because it comes in so handy. An alcohol stove. A nesting cup inside of a cup. And another pot that I had in the stove in the fire there the other day. And then a can of tuna in that. So actually, technically, I do have meat. Put the whole stove in there like that. Dandy. Put it back in. I got enough room in there. I can throw more stuff in there, too, if I want a little bit of room, I guess. A little bit of room. Not a little bit. Yeah, so there's my EDC for that. And, of course, I carry uh, a bottle of alcohol, a pint of it, and I usually carry a pint of cooking oil with me pretty much everywhere I go. And again, I'll add to that uh, little kit right there. But that's basically all I need except for my sleep system, which includes my hammock and my tarp and my blanket. Uh, so whatever I'd be sleeping in, whether I'm sleeping in a tent or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. And then the clothes I'm wearing, of course. And I usually carry in the wintertime an axe. And of course, I got lighters with me and stuff. There's a... Uh, actually, you know what? I was missing a ferro rod in my cook kit. No, that was in the bottom of the bag. I didn't take that out. Sorry. Actually, there was a couple other things in that cook kit too. There's uh, my utensil set fork, a knife, and a spoon. Nothing fancy. It's not titanium or anything, but they work all right. And my fire steel was there. She's getting down there, used up, and uh, P51 can opener. I've had that for a long time. Yeah, that's what I got. So it was in the bottom of the pack. <clears throat> 